So you're interested in securing yourself while losing the interwebs? There are a lot of methods you can use, proxies etc but they all really try to do one thing and that's hide your IP. So what is your IP? For home users your IP is a dynamic marker, a string of numbers that form a unique identifier with dynamic IP. This does change but within a set group for the area you're living in and why it changes simply knowing what time you were online and what IP you were using can be used by your ISP to figure out who you are. Many people talk about software solutions for masking your IP but I find the easiest way to do this is simply not to use your own internet connection. You can purchase fairly cheaply a long range Wi-Fi antenna and booster, set up correctly in say the attic of your home. These can be used to pick up signals from a decent range around you then using that with an air crack or similar attack on local routers will allow you to have multiple wireless networks to play with. Personally I like to set up the antenna and booster to a Raspberry Pi that I keep permanently in the attic, with a second high speed Wi-Fi dongle to distribute the signal and remote access you can then use the attic system when and where you want it and leave it running doing secondary tasks. Of course this doesn't mean you shouldn't use proxies and encryption and it won't stop you getting hacked but if the worst should happen and you do get traced it won't be your door that's getting a knock and you will be aware of unusual activity in your area. I have enclosed a quick video on WPS hacking using the ColiOS with it program. There are better tools to use but I figure if you're really interested you can learn the other tools yourself and with it is a set and go program meaning you set it up and just wait for it to do its thing. You should note that WPS attacks work like brute force attack by trying possible combinations in the handshake so time spent is relative to the hardware you're using and just pure dumb luck. You could break one in 5 minutes or 5 hours so the best thing to do is before you go to bed set it running then leave till you get back from work or whatever. Links to the free download of the Kali OS as well as a tutorial on how to install the Kali on a USB stick so you don't have to overwrite your current OS or lose spare space on your hard drive will be in the description. The tutorials were not made by me but I can guarantee at least that the information at the time of posting this was correct. If there's interest in this video then I will make one on air crack and better tools you can use for this function. Again sorry for the stupid text to speech bollocks, a copy of this will be in the description, it's not a privacy thing it's a my laptop is a junkyard piece of shit that's being held together with string, duct tape and the threat of sledgehammers. If I have time I will remake the videos when I get some gear together to do it properly until then deal with it. Stay safe in the interwebs people and happy hacking. Love and kisses. His Royal Gingerness.